back to Angels and Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our weekly general message for October the 19th through October the 25th. And yes, this is just a love spot check for the lovebirds. If you are looking for the full monthly love message, check the playlist. Okay, Gemini, positive energy, positive energy for you lovebirds. Angels, what's going on with Gemini for the third week of October? Come on, angels, what's going on? What is going on, angels? Positive, positive energy, please. Positive energy. And we have commitment and family. Family. There we go. When, wherever you go, whatever you do, your family is here for you. So I definitely feel in your romantic love departments, I feel like you guys are, what is that word? Co um, not commingling. That's with money. With um, when you add when you add family together. Yeah, that that word. Whatever that you know the word. But you're definitely bringing your family together. Yes, yes, yes. Angels and guides. Angels and guides. Positive energy. Positive energy with you and your love. Positive energy for the singles. Angels and guides. We're looking for a spot check for the singles. Hmm. What's going on? This is just a spot check, so check the playlist, okay? For the singles, love energy. Angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy for Gemini. Mm -hmm. We have chivalry and we have arrows. Direction is yours to choose today. Your inner light will guide the way. Somebody is watching you. Somebody is crushing on you. So that person that opens the car door, holds the elevator door, that person that's, I don't know, giving you the lead, yes, just keep an eye out for that, okay? So whoever, you're gonna notice who it is because they're gonna be super duper, super duper nice to you, okay? Above and beyond nice, if that makes sense. All right, Gemini, let's get right into your general message for the third week of October. Angels, we're looking for positive energy, please. For Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, these are new cards, and I just love them because it's like they fall out. They just fall out. <laughs> Angels, we're looking for positive energy for Gemini. And let's move on to the new deck. Let's pull this down a bit, shall we? All right, angels, we're looking for something deliciously positive. And of course, we want these right side up so that we can get all the joy out of them that we can. There it is. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's move on to... Yes, my mama's deck as usual. Angels and guides. Yes, high vibrations, looking for joy. Yes, yes, and yes for Gemini for the third week, for the third week of October. Now, let's add, I feel like we need to add in the dragon's deck. Angels, positive energy. I love this deck because I got it for my birthday from my daughter. <laughs> angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, yes, 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 yes. We're going to top it off with the hummingbird deck and then we can get, oh, that goes right there. <laughs> that goes right there. Angels and guides, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Gemini, for third week of October. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'll get that. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. And just a few more. Trust me, we're almost done. We're almost done, Gemini. Yes, we are. And I feel like that goes there. Okay. So let's get right into this, shall we? Positive energy. Positive energy for, for Gemini. Bum, bum, bum. All right. So. The major theme for the week is the six, the six of wands reversed with the five of shells, mm -hmm, ace of clubs, six of spades, 
the Friends card, Queen of Spades, and the Three of Clubs. So, I'm feeling this week, with the, the Six of Wands reversed, I'm feeling like you're not feeling front and center. You're not feeling like, um, it, it's almost like, the attention that you deserve, you're feeling like you're not getting it, but you definitely have hope about this situation. I feel like there will be topics of conversation about this, and it feels like with the Six of Spades, you're, I feel like this conversation is going to be talking about what's right, what's wrong, karma, things of that nature. Um, I feel like this has to do with friends. With the Queen of Spades, I see that you are actually... I want to say biting your tongue. Um, yeah, I see you, you're biting your tongue and you're sitting with the three of clubs. You're sitting in a little bit of worry. Now, now, this three of clubs does definitely represent worry. However, you can take that and turn it into something positive. Maybe go to the gym, maybe go running, maybe paint, maybe create a new dance, a new song, whatever it is. Take that energy and turn it weave it into something positive, okay? So if someone's not giving you the attention that you deserve and you know you should have it and they're just not like moving at the pace that you like, don't worry about it. Just go create. Yes, go create. And that create could be baking a cake. It could be dropping a new song. Whatever it is, go do that, okay? All right, now, when we look at your recent past, you had the King of Pentacles reversed with the Tower card mm, and the Nine of Spades, the Eight of Spades, the Fertile card with the King of Hearts and the Six of Diamonds. So I feel like in the recent past, I feel like someone gave up their power. Looks, looks like a, it looks like it has a little bit to do with finances. I feel like with the Tower card, I feel like that release caused something to break down, if that makes sense. Something to end. But because, because you have the Eight of Spades, I feel like you are able, you were able to handle that yeah, that earthquake, if you will. Yes, I feel like whatever it was, you had the means to rebuild with the King of Hearts. You had the power and with the Six of Diamonds because I feel like there was something that you had been responsible for in the past come, came back around. Maybe someone owed you money or maybe there was something that you forgot about, some money somewhere that just popped up, okay? But that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, you have the tower card reversed, okay? Reversed with the ace of shells and the nine of clubs. There's that pesky nine of diamonds, I'm sorry. There's that pesky three of clubs again with the moderation, king of clubs, and the ace of clubs. So I feel like, I feel like with the tower card reversed, I feel like there is an element of I feel like there's an element of something beginning and it's out of the blue and I'm not necessarily sure you want this new beginning, but you do, but you do. This new beginning is going to bring you happiness. You're going to be able to get what you want. With the three of clubs, you are a bit worried, but don't be worried. Take that worry and turn it into creative energy a little bit at a time. With the King of Clubs, I feel like you are standing in your power and you know the right thing to do. With the Ace of Clubs, you definitely know. You definitely know. And I feel like you're going to have a ton of aha moments this in the middle of the week. This energy that's coming in, it's, it's intense, but you're going to like it. You're going to love it. It's going to give you the ability to, to, to take care of some things that, that you needed to take care of that you were worried about. Slowly, slowly but surely, you're going to be able to get in control. And yes, with the Ace of Clubs, get in control of a situation. And, you know, people are going to listen to you. I definitely feel like people are going to listen to you. They better listen to you. Okay, all right. So when we look at the end of the week, we have the Eight of Wands with the Queen, the Queen of Acorns, the Queen of Diamonds, the Ace of Spades, Renewal, 
five of clubs and the ten of clubs. So I feel like at the end, I feel like the eight of wands, I feel like um, there's this element of a lot of energy coming towards you, a lot of love energy that is coming towards you. I feel like this love is very passionate. This is a very passionate love that's coming towards you. Um, it, it could also show up as creative love. This that love doesn't look like any love that's in your neighborhood, if you know what I mean. With the, um, the Queen of Diamonds, I feel like this love, it's yeah, you like it and they're making you really feel good, but you're not so sure if it's not being so intrusive, if you know what I mean. With the Ace of Spades, there is definitely something new coming, a reversal, a re it's, it's almost like something is being reversed. With the Five of Clubs, I see you not so sure if this is really what you want to come back into your world. With the Ten of Clubs, I feel like you will definitely voice your opinion. Um, and you will be heard, you will be successful at that communication. I, I feel like all of this communication that's coming towards you, it might be a little bit too much. It might be a little bit too strong. And, but I feel like, I feel like with the Ace of Spades, I feel like there is an element of, there's something coming out in this conversation, in these words. So listen, you know, take some time out to listen because I feel like you're going to learn something. Yes, they may be talking a lot. Yes, right? But in there, there's like this nugget of information that you get and you're like, oh, so this is starting again. Right? Oh, so this is starting again. And I, I feel like with the five of clubs, you're definitely going to go back and forth about it. And I, I just feel like you're on the successful side of it this time. You're definitely on the successful side of it. Now, and please apply that to your life as it fits. I know it seems like a bit of a mulligan, a mulligan stew, but yeah. Just go with me on it, okay? <laughs> All right, so when we look at your bonus, you have the moon card and the four of pentacles, yes, 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 with the page of acorns, the two of hearts, the five of clubs, the illusion card, the jack of spades, and the three of diamonds. So I feel like, I feel like with the moon card, I feel like there's something that has to be, you know, you're not sure about something. You're just not sure. And it looks like it has something to do with money, holding on to money, money, security, finances. I feel like, I feel like this money that, that you're holding on to, why do I feel like somebody doesn't know that you're holding on to money or somebody else is holding on to money? That, that you're unclear, you don't know about. It looks like somebody that you definitely love. I feel like it's going to change your mind about something. I feel like you had, um, there was um, some uncertainty, some uncertainties about money and this person that somebody's holding on to money. That's all I'm saying. With the Jack of Spades and the Three of Diamonds, I feel like you knew, you, you're like, Dang it, I didn't know they were doing that. Or dang it, I didn't know they had that money stashed away. Um, but whatever it is, I feel you're being very either worried about this money. Maybe you have money stashed away. Or maybe they have money stashed away. But with the Jack of Spades, I feel like I feel like it's an element of it's either creative money, money made in not an, uh, a way that has been um, not the traditional way, but either way, I feel like you're either worried about this money or, or you're doing something creative, or this money is coming in a creative way, not the traditional way. But I, I feel like no matter what, the money is there. You didn't know it was there. That's what you didn't know. You definitely did not know, but you're going to find out. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. So I send you joy. Namaste. And much, much love sent your way.